right, uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the press conference. Uh, it's uh, time to hear the, the voices of the three best in the Nordic Combine. And uh, the winner today was Jan Schmid of Norway, second, Pino Edelman of Germany, and third, Johannes Ritzig, also of Germany. So, if we would, if, I think we shall start with the winner, Jan Schmid. Uh, uh, nice, good victory. But how would you characterize this competition? You had the jumping two days ago, and then you have been waiting and trying to jump, and it never succeeded, and then you had the skiing today. Uh, well, the last day was a bit, a bit, a bit boring, <laughs> but uh, we had, a, I think I've never been in Lochte with such fair conditions as we had on Thursday. So I also think it was a great competition to watch the ski jumping. So I think it was good that we didn't try something today with that wind from all directions. and. Uh, we had to, we'd have to wait for a long time for each jumper, so I think it was a good jumping competition. And uh, the weather is great, so skiing was nice with a lot of people, and I felt really great the whole race. A uh, little bit heavy in the beginning, but in the end it was... I felt great, and uh, suddenly seeing Tino at the top of the last climb was a surprise, but it gave me a little extra energy in the end. So it was a fantastic day for me. At the start today, did you go for a victory, or did you think just about being among the three best? Uh, I had a hope that I could be fighting for a podium place, but there were a lot of good uh, racers in front, and also within half a minute behind me, and I was pretty sure that like you know, my teammates, Mikko and Magnus, won, those were going to catch us, but they didn't, and uh, so good for me. <laughs> Magnus Moan obviously was the fastest skier today, but uh, it wasn't, he wasn't fast enough. How about your skiing? You felt strong all the way, and you said you had an extra kick when you saw when you saw Tina. Yes, no, I said, as I said uh, in the beginning, I felt a little bit. I felt it was hard because I started just at the end of the group that ended up fighting for the victory, and uh, I had to catch up a little bit in the beginning. So it was really hard, but then I could save energy on the two laps in the middle, and in the end I, it was like starting from scratch again on the last lap, I felt really good, so I could just go for it. And it's always good to win. Yes, I don't win very often, so <laughs> right. <that's> very, very <laughs> nice. <laughs> right. Okay, so Tino, you started with Bimba number two and you were finished second in today's competition. What were your thoughts before the start today? Uh, I didn't feel so good today actually, um, but I uh, yeah knew that my cross country form uh, is went went up again after a little bit of a yeah miserable weekend in the middle of the season, and um, yeah I just uh, tried to do my own race at the beginning and. Uh, my plan was to to stay under the top ten when I went in, in the race because, uh, like Jan said, there were many uh, very good skiers within uh, just little time, like a minute, a minute behind me. That was uh, Magnus Moore. Yeah, I actually didn't think that I would uh, compete from the front today, but I felt good after the first two laps, and I. Um, yeah, heard the time differences from the from the coaches and thought I I have to do it. I have to try. <laughs> but my last lap was kind of kind of very very heavy and I was really exhausted when I went into the last uphill. And uh, yeah, like Jan said, uh, it's uh, psych psychology a little bit of psychology. Uh, he saw me and, and got a little bit of a kick, and I saw him and got a little bit of a, <laughs> oh no! <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that was... Uh, so the feeling wasn't very mu mutual. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm really, really happy with the second place. Right. Did you have, have any plan, together with the two other guys in the front, when you started, uh, Howard Clements and, and Wilhelm de Niffel, you started just about at the same time? Yeah, uh, my plan was to do my own race, so I didn't really uh, look at, at them. Uh, I thought they would stick with me, um, yeah, but you know, they didn't. 
Okay, so then third today, Johannes Rutzik of Germany, Germany as well. Tell us about your race. Yeah, I was in the big group uh, as young, and uh, I knew we had a chance for the podium. Uh, yeah, I felt yeah, quite good the whole race, and in the last lap I <coughs> saw Jan uh, yeah, going up the uphill very fast. And I saw that yeah, you have to go behind him, that could be your chance. And I stayed as long as I could behind him, and so I got the podium. And uh, so you, you realized that Jan was the strongest in the group? Yeah, the last uphill I saw him, yeah, really strong, and yeah, I thought that could be my chance. And you also came very close to Tino, but you couldn't really catch him. No, because uh, at the finish I was really tired and yeah, uh, we two were tired and I was a bit tired. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. And uh, you had the 12th best uh, cross-country time. Uh, how would you say the jumping two days ago and the, the cross-country today, is that a good combination for you? I mean, a good race altogether. Yeah, of course. Uh, the jump was really nice. I was really satisfied about the jump. Uh, it was, in, as Jan said, really fair conditions. And also my cross front, it was yeah, almost perfect. And so I'm yeah, glad for the, uh, the, the uh, competition. Okay. Then a question to all of you. A few competitions still to go this season. How about the rest? How the, about the coming weekends? Jan? <coughs> uh. Well, uh, we're going home now, to Norway, home and home, uh, and that's always fun. I usually finish my season mentally here, so I'm going to try to change that this year. <laughs> try to do well also in home and home. Uh, and I mean, we're having, we're trying both fields, I think, the same as in the uh, World Championships last year. And uh, I hope that a lot of people show up and that we have great weather and that we have a nice finish to the season. And it's good to go, go home with a victory in the pocket. That's always good. It's always good, okay. So, thank you. Uh, questions?